Hello learners, I welcome you all to this video where we will be discussing Altman Z-score thoroughly. Altman Z-score model is used to identify distressed corporates. This model is based on the multivariate corporate distress model. Uh, we have already discussed this model in a previous video. So those who have not seen it, please go through that video first, uh, link of which is given in the description. Altman Z-score model was developed by Edward I. Altman in 1968 to predict corporate distress. The Altman Z-score is actually a formula for determining whether a company is headed for bankruptcy. It uses profitability, leverage, liquidity, solvency and activity ratios to predict whether a company has a high probability of becoming insolvent in near future. As we have already discussed this, that this model is based on multivariate model for corporate distress, you will see that Altman has followed same steps to develop this model. In his study, Altman selected 33 distressed and 33 non-distressed firms. He identified 22 accounting and non-accounting ratios which were considered to be the predictors of corporate distress. Out of these, Altman selected five ratios which were best predictors of corporate distress prediction. These five ratios measure following aspects of corporates, liquidity position of the firm, reinvestment of earnings of the firms, profitability of the firm, financial leverage condition of the firm, and sales generating ability of firm's assets. A linear function was developed with the help of these five accounting ratios as shown here. Z equals to 1.2 x1 plus 1.4 multiplied by x2 plus 3.3 multiplied by x3 plus 0.6 multiplied by x4 plus 1.0 multiplied by x5. Here z stands for overall index of multiple index function and these five variables are defined as this x1 is working capital to total assets which is a measure of liquidity. x2 is a ratio which, which measures the reinvestment of earnings uh, which is retained earnings to total assets ratio. X3 is a profitability measure that is EBIT to total assets ratio. X4 is market value of equity to preference to book value of total debt measure of leverage. X5 is total sales to assets that is sales generating ability measure. Altman modified this model in 1983 however the 1968 model is generally used by the analyst. After putting all of these five ratios of a particular company in this linear function, a z-score is calculated. Now, after calculating this z-score, we compare this z-score with set standards. And these set, set standards are, if the calculated z-score is 2.99 or above we say that the company is more financially sound however if the z score is between 1.81 to 2.98 we say that you need to be cautious about the firm and if the z score is less than 1.81 we say that the company is a sick firm or a failure firm. Corporate might collapse. The score are based on the historical data, that is the fi past financial performance of a company. The score are good for predicting the coming two or three years. We take an example here to understand the usefulness of this model. Before the financial crisis, 
Altman calculated that the median Altman Z score of companies in 2007 was 1.81, but the credit ratings of these companies were quite higher. Altman Z score indicated that the firm should have had lower ratings and they were highly distressed and had a high probability of becoming bankrupt.